Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling. Today in this video, we are diving into the world of industrial communication with a focus on how to install and configure an industrial RS-45 hub. And if you ever wonder about the magic behind reliable industrial data transmission, stick around because we have a lot to unpack. And also, if you're facing challenges with your tech setup, whether it's setting up an industrial hub, integrating CCTV system, or anything else in the tech world, we're here to help. We are offering personalized advice and solutions tailored to your specific needs at a completely free of charge. So just send us your questions through the link down in the description box below and our team of experts will get back to you with the solution that you need. Now first off, let's talk about what an isolated RS-485 hub is and why it is crucial in industrial applications. Now this nifting device allows you to convert and distribute serial signals from an RS-232 or RS-485 interface to multiple RS-485 ports, ensuring robust and noise-free data transmission across your network. Now you may be wondering, what exactly is RS-485 technology? RS-485 is a communication standard that supports multiple devices on a single network, allowing them to communicate over long distances with high reliability. Unlike RS-232, which is designed for point-to-point -point communication, RS-485 support multiple drop, meaning multiple devices can share the same communication bus. And this makes it ideal for industrial setting, where you might have servo sensors, controllers, or other devices that need to communicate efficiently. So now let's get into the details of this specific isolated RS-485 hub. Now this hub features four RS-485 ports, allowing for seamless communication and connection among 16 serial devices, such as sensors, controllers, meters, and etc. And each port is equipped with LED indicators for power, data transmission and false conditions, providing real-time status updates and simplifying troubleshooting. Also support both RS-232 and RS-485 interface, making it compatible with a wide range of industrial equipment. And designed for harsh industrial environment, this hub offers high-level isolation between the RS-232 or RS-485 port and the power supply, protecting your devices from electrical interference and ensuring reliable data transmission. And the hub operates on a wide DC power range of 9 to 36 volt, providing flexibility in power supply option. And with this compact design, durable construction and advanced feature, the industrial isolated RS-232 or RS-485-24 port RS-485 hub is an ideal choice for expanding and stabilizing your industrial communication network. So next, let's check out how to install them. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and behind us, we have the complete setup integrating our isolated RS-485 hub. So let's start at the beginning. So right here, we have a WebSmart PoE switch. By using PoE technology, we're going to provide both power and data through this 100 meter single ethernet cable and connect it to our PoE splitter. So this PoE splitter will split the power and data. First, let's talk about the power. The power will go to the junction box and we can use it to power up all our devices. First, to our converter. So we can convert the serial signal to ethernet signal. And then it goes directly to our isolated RS-485 hub. Now, the power requirements for this hub are straightforward. It operates on a DC power supply ranging from 9 to 36 volt. So make sure your power supply meets this specification to avoid any issues. And also, it can be DIN reel mount or raw mounted, depending on your setup. 
So as you can see, it's already connected directly to our hub to power it. And then we have the last distribution box. This box is used to power up our sensors. One to our temperature and humidity sensor, and the other one goes to the wind sensor. And then the data will connect all the way back to our isolated hub. So make sure you plug in the right wire, plus and minus. So this is the positive. Let's plug it in. And this is the negative. Here we go. So we have two devices. And it's linked back to our converter and converted to Ethernet signal and going back to our PoE splitter. So the data will get back to our computer through this Ethernet cable. All we need to do is using another short patch cord to connect the switch to our computer. So once everything is wired up, now it's time to configure the hub using our provided web software. So now we're looking at multiple software and this one right here is our setting page for the converter. If you have to adjust anything on the converter, this is where you go to. And then we have this VCOM software. Since we don't have an actual COM port, that's why we have to create a virtual COM so we can receive all the data. Just hit Add Device, Search, and the device will pop up instantly. Just hit OK and it will add it automatically. And we have to remember the COM number. For every device, we have a designated number. So this is COM2. And then we can go to our displaying two. And remember the COM port, which is two. Let's open the serial. And here we have the real-time data. So we can test the communication right from this software to make sure everything is working perfectly. So we have the wind and also temperature and humidity. So there you have it. Your industrial RS485 hub is now installed and configured, ready to ensure reliable data communication across your network. And if you require a long distance transmission, we've got you covered. You can check out our wireless network bridge solution for extending your RS485 network without the hassle of long cables. Now, thank you very much for joining us at Fast Cabling. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorial. And feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or need further assistance. And until next time, happy networking!